I love making videos. Finding new and interesting tools that genuinely boost my productivity is really exciting to me. I love messing around with them and sharing my experiences with you guys. The one aspect I don't like so much, the tedious editing. What I mean by that is not the small changes or adding B-roll at just the right moment. I'm talking about getting rid of multiple takes, getting rid of the silences, and adding in subtitles that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Today, I'm going to show you a tool that does all this and more. Kling. I don't know about you, but I put subtitles on everything. Every show I watch from Netflix to YouTube. What I've been wanting to do for a long time is to use this in my own videos. If you saw my video on 11 Labs, I use this tool for my subtitles and for cutting out the extra silences. Now, are you still going to have to make small adjustments? Of course. Does it have its drawbacks? Doesn't everything have its drawbacks? Is it the easiest and most extensive AI editing tool I've ever used to date? Also, yes. Now, there are other competitors that I'll throw up on the screen that do either silence removal or subtitles or generate ideas, but Gling does it all in one. And it'll even add built-in jump cuts for you as an added bonus. And it's got its own built-in editor, so even if you don't like one of the adjustments it made, you can always revert it or change it. Now, let's jump in and I'll show you how it works. So I'm in Google because Gling is actually a desktop app. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Google and type in Gling AI and come over here. You are going to go download it. And once you download it, you'll have a desktop app that looks like this. As you can see, I have my projects that I was working on for 11 labs over here. And I have the experiment that I was working on before this video just to get it all set up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to sign in to a Google account or something along those lines, right? And then you'll come to this screen. However, there are a few features that are behind a paywall. So as you can see, this is what I did just because I'm making videos and I wanted to try this out to its fullest extent. However, even with the free version, and when I was experimenting this, I used it completely for free when making my 11 labs video, but I wanted to experiment a little more and make this video. The only real difference between the free version and the paid version is really the amount of subtitles that you can create as well as getting rid of the watermark. And, but you can still download the audio for free. You can still download subtitles for free as long as it's less than one hour. Everything important is really for free. There are like you can download unlimited chapter generations and title generations. So if you're really struggling with that, if you're a video content creator, then maybe the paid version will work for you. Otherwise, like I said, the 11 labs video was made completely for free up until I had to export it. So not having the plus version is not really a game changer. If you're just experimenting with this, if you really like it and you truly want to use it and you want to use it more often then the plus version would be a good choice. The only difference between plus and pro is the amount of transcribed media. Everything else is exactly the same. So the first thing you notice that it does have an example project from its creators, from its founders. Okay. But you're also going to see a generate ideas button. So if you connect your actual YouTube channel, you will be able to generate ideas and the ideas that it comes up with are specific to your channel. So if you're doing this for something other than YouTube, this isn't going to matter to you. But if you're using Gling to make YouTube videos, maybe this is important to you and you'll use it. Underrated AI innovations, AI, AI. So it knows that I'm, I make AI videos. So it's doing pretty well. Again, a very simple idea generator, but that's not really why we're using this. It's just an added bonus and an extra added feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, so what I did for my 11 labs video that I actually took out of it, and I got a couple comments wanting me to put it back in, was that I created a voice clone for 11 labs, 11 labs being the voice synthesizer that generates a voice automatically. I used a sample of my own voice, and what I did was, because you need a one minute sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna plug that video that I made of me recording my own voice into Gling. I'll show you a snippet of the before video, and then we'll come in and see what Gling truly does. This is a recording of my voice. I am recording my voice and doing voiceover for the voice that I can do. The brown cow jumped over the lazy dog and it was actually a fox, but you don't need to know that. And then I can go over here and sound like this and record even more. And then when I record, I can do this and then I can record 
and I'm saying words that are spoken and I'm doing this doof. And then when I go in and go into 11 labs, then it will create more things. And then I can do this and then that. And then when I upload it, it'll be perfect. Now, I know what you're thinking. And yes, I agree. That was a masterpiece. There's no way I can make it better, but let's try. So when I uploaded that, the reason I got rid of it was because it was a voice sample and when I recorded myself doing it, I had the video on, but the audio was already recorded. That's why you didn't see any of my reactions. So the main thing that I can do is cut out a, a little bit of the silence, even though there wasn't that much. But for the most part, I can add subtitles to this. So the way you're going to do that, as you can see, here's my original video unedited. Well, from what I recorded, it's unedited. I can go to captions and it's automatically going to spit out captions just like that. Part of the download process took about a minute to download and part of that was the transcribing. So I can play it. And when I play it, this is a recording of my voice. I, it's going to come up with subtitles over here is where you can make them smaller, bigger, whatever you want to do with it. And you can also change it so that I'm recording my voice and doing voiceover for the voice that I can do. The brown cow jumped over the lazy dog. And you can do any of these preset ones. And if you don't like any of those preset ones, you can come in here and make it exactly how you want. You can get rid of the box around it. You can add the background. You can add an outline change the font to any of these Add the color size or change the color size. You can even change the color of it right from here. Super easy. Save it. You're done. This was just to show you how easily Glyn can do subtitles. Now let's take a video and I'll show you how easily you can add everything else. So what I have done is uploaded just a random one of my older YouTube videos. I uploaded the guest lighting character AI video. So as you can see on the left hand side is my entire script. I didn't write this AI did all this, which means some of it might be a little bit off, but what you can do, if there are any character names or anything that you might have talked quietly over that the microphone didn't pick you up and it thought it was something else, you can easily come in here. Let's say this wasn't Einstein, right? And you can correct it. Or if Einstein added a lowercase e, you can correct it from there and then just click apply. What happens here is I haven't done anything yet. This is completely from quick, name a person, completely from where it started. No subtitles yet, no jump cuts, no anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to where I first appear. And first I'm going to show you how I created it to begin with. And then we're going to come over. We're going to add some jump cuts. We're going to add some captions and we're going to see what this AI can do right off the bat. And if there are anything that I still want to fix, make better or change, I can always do that manually. So like I said, this is not a one shot fix. You will have to go back and change a little bit here and there just because AI is not perfect. You know, it, it is it does still need a human touch to get all the things that you want specifically. And that's why we use this. This is a tool. This is not to replace editing completely. Gling is not there so that everything is perfect. It's a one-stop shop kind of thing. But let's see the original now, and then let's see what, how we can make it better. AI to have a conversation with anything you can think of. You can have your own. As you can see, this is scrolling on the left-hand side as it's reading. Elon Musk to talk things through with. You can create a game for yourself where you have to solve a mystery just using text-based AI. Today so what this did is this put it into paragraphs and actually kind of sorted it into different genres. So one part, this first part was the introduction and then it gets on to something else. I didn't split this up, AI did. So for example, or this is just completely separate. <laughs> okay. As you can see here, it kind of separated it a little bit more. All that really does is work on the captions and it kind of separates the captions a little bit more. And as you can see, as soon as I clicked on captions, it auto generated immediately. And now you got a psychologist, you got RPGs. As soon as I click on one of these different texts, people that it changes it would not be immediately. Able to conversate in real life. Super quick, super prompt. And even though this is one paragraph, it's still separating out the text. That's what I did for my the last part with the voice cloning. But now what I can add on top of that are jump cuts. So if I come over here, I can actually click on enhance and I can remove background noise. So right now I have a fan in the background. If that fan 
ever got to be too loud or they're doing construction outside my house, I can click remove noise from audio and it does say this will take a little bit. You can also do this before you even start it. I just wanted to show you how this works completely from scratch. So it'll remove a little bit of background noise, but still keep everything audible, all the words audible that you're speaking. People that you would not be able to converse in real life. Once you And now what you can do is actually click on jump cut. And this is where the paragraphs come in. You can always come in and automatically split it yourself if you want. Let's just say I wanted this one part to be cut. A psychologist, you got RPGs. And I wanted to come over here. I could split it myself. Come over here and you'll click on this magic pencil. You'll click on it and you can see it says jump cut zoom. It'll automatically jump to the center. And this is something that I want it to be able to move this around because right now I can't move this no matter what I do. So what I'm going to have to do is I would have to export it, go into DaVinci and fix it myself. That's the next step that that could be a future update that would be very much appreciated would be for me to actually move my camera around right in here because it just focuses right on the center. And if I'm talking about the psychologist or somebody else, I would want to zoom in right there. You got RPG which I cannot do right now. But if I'm just a talking head, it really works well with just mono camera, you talking, talking head kind of thing, where it'll center your face pretty well. You can see examples of that at the beginning of this video. As I introduce Gling, the jump cuts that you see at the beginning were made using Gling. And when it's just a talking head, it works a lot better than me having a talking head in the middle. Over here, I can zoom in, in even more. I can zoom out completely less so that the jump cut's basically useless. It does have a center to face button, but since the face isn't in the middle, again, hopefully Gling can update this so that it will work and it'll identify a moving real life face so that it'll attach to itself to me. But for now, this is what it can do. For the most part, that's about it. I can click on skip cuts and when I go through this, start with the recommended tab and it goes to act right to Skynet. Now, let's say I really didn't like that one part. What I can do is I can highlight whatever part I don't like. Let me just highlight this one line and I can come in here. I can correct it if it's wrong, if the subtitles are wrong, but I can also just straight up cut it. And what's going to happen is if I come over here and click skip cuts, let's jump right into it by going right to Skynet. It automatically skipped right over the part that I just cut is by now what I cut didn't make sense because it started with is by, but you get the point. If I don't like this part, right, where I'm saying who's next, let's see, I can come over here. If, if I just click on this, it'll automatically start to play. Leonardo da Vinci is now scarred for life. I, I like that part, but I didn't like this part. I can cut it. So Who's this next? is it uncut. I'm searching for somebody to find. I don't like that part. Let's cut it. Now, when I click back over here, Leonardo da Vinci is now scarred for life. See. The last one we're going to try. It automatically skips over that. And again, this isn't perfect. It got the end of the word C. I can come over here split it myself and cut that little part out so that you can't hear the word C. This is a very good AI. It is obviously not perfect. So you're going to have to manually adjust a little bit of it. The last thing that I'm going to show you about Gling is the automatic chapters and automatic title generation. It's really very simple. I don't like it too much. The chapter generator is kind of neat. It's actually pretty accurate to what you're talking about. Title generator, it's okay. It's hit or miss. If you have multiple files that you want to download or want to use for Gling, you just add them here. And you can adjust it. You can put them in any orders. So if you want something to go first, you just process new files and it's right there pretty quickly. Honestly, the slowest part of this whole process is downloading an entire video, but that's you're downloading a video. So that's really up to your computer. It will download files right into Resolve or right into Premiere if you prefer that. So that's about it for Gling. If there's anything you want me to cover more of or anything you think I missed, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you haven't seen my 11 Labs video, click over here. And if you want to catch up with the rest of my channel, Click over here and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.